Okay, this is the Deerfield Conservation Committee meeting for July 26th, 2018, 7 o'clock. And I'm Louis Mission. Uh, ben Burr. And Bill Mara, PC. And uh, let's see, we've got a couple solar panel projects here to, to go over. And uh, I think, uh, let's see, they got listed here. Uh, the one over on Set Right Road. And we uh, present here. We're first. Yep. yep. You ready first? Yep. Okay. Yep. You can present. Come up with the microphone. State your names. Uh, good evening, everybody. My name is Scott Neymar. I'm with Hexagon Energy and uh, representing the developer behind the project. Representing and, and the developer. I'm not a separate organization. Hi, I'm Meredith Bornstein, um, SWCA um, wetland scientist. And I'm Kevin McCaffrey from SWCA, the civil engineer. <clears throat> and so tonight, um, we just want to uh, Go over the, a little bit the project that we're developing off of Setright Road uh, on the piece of property that belongs to Chet and Anna Strowski. We're looking at a uh, 2.0 megawatt AC alternating current uh, site. We have already spoken with the select board um, since the property is located in Chapter 61A and they've agreed not to exercise their right of first refusal. The project is currently uh, undergoing an interconnection study with Eversource. And we have submitted the documents for a special permit, but are in the process of getting a, uh, a meeting on the, on the board folks with that. We're excited about this project. It'll provide power for about 300 homes, mm -hmm. as well as um, increased tax revenue through a pilot agreement with the town that we've begun the conversation but haven't done any negotiation. We're moving in that direction. Um, but it'll provide increased tax revenue. We're pretty confident about the siding because it's set well off of any, um, any housing, any wetlands. And uh, yeah, we're really excited to see it. We've named it Old Frontier 3, actually, because as I was, when I named projects, I like to try and find something that's uh, specific to the town. And as I read about the history here in the uh, 17th century, this was, this was the Old Frontier of, uh, of America. So we chose the name and it's three because it's the third site that we uh, evaluated. So that's the introduction. I have a... Uh, a brief map here to, to show you guys of you what guys the project has. Geez, I'll just lay these out in front of you. And, uh, <coughs> speak to the okay. This is actually an updated plan um, than the one we submitted. Okay. It's just a small change um, in the the easement over here. Do you want to talk yeah. more about yeah, that? Yeah, we just recently acquired, as a matter of fact, recently, meaning this morning. Um, easement rights across um, Mr. Sanicki's property, just to the south of, of the uh, site. Yes, and we should orient them first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So set right road here. Conway Road is yeah. running uh -huh. right here, um, and so 91 is located right over here mm -hmm. to the east of the yeah. site. Um, you have those woods right there, and then the wetlands marked out here, and then the uh, offset from from them. Uh, along set right road, there's a single phase power line right here that then connects to three phase power lines along Conway Road. Yeah. Our plan is to upgrade the single phase power line or the single phase power line here and then connect it to um, the three phase along um, Conway. We originally had looked at running the power lines um, along the north and this existing road here which would have required an extensive amount of um, digging and, and burying the lines along this whole stretch but with this easement that we have now we're going to be able to just run the lines directly across the, uh, the southern border. Yeah. So Are they going to be overhead, the lines, or? Currently, that's that's as designed. The current plan is for overhead lines along that stretch. They, uh, they should allow continued farming of the property and not really disrupt anything whatsoever. Um, so that's that's the outline of the, uh, the property. Again, it's two megawatts, about 300 homes. That's what it'll power. Less than 10 acres of solar yeah. panels. Yeah, less, less than 10 acres of solar panels. All told, enclosed inside the fence will be about 12 and a half acres. Um, yeah. 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 I'll just show the, okay. so the wetlands are back here. This is forested in here. Um, well, this is all forested, but the line is yeah. over here. And then it gets into a farm field wetland over here. Most uh, it's just an emergent sort of um, Phalaris. Uh, what's the common name? Uh, can't remember. Phalaris around Nacia. It's a um, it's actually an invasive plant, but it's sort of a colony back there. And there is a little pool back here, but um, so we've set everything actually over 100 feet 
out of the 100 foot buffer zone. Um, so we're just here to let you guys know what's going on. We're completely out of the buffer, yeah. out of jurisdiction. Now, and, uh, the barn, because I, I, I took a ride out there. Oh, I tried okay. to get a hold of you oh, just really? to say I was going out there, but Good. I know it's pretty much uh, you know, wide open. Yep. The barn is right here, right? Yeah, the barn. It's right on that corner. The barn is going to be yeah, it's, it's right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I, I saw some part way between, between yes. right in the yeah. middle of this field. We have a survey. Yeah, I didn't drive out there. I just up on a set yeah, right road. Right oh, it's it's right, right in the middle, but it's not. not yeah. Yeah. So the barn. Yeah, I'm just trying to uh, orientate it. Yeah. Yeah. I assume that's what it was. Yeah. 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 So it would be the fields beyond that. The other Small oh, yeah. There. There's the barn. Oh, so yeah. So you're yeah. able to drive uh, out here. So the panels are proposed here. Well, back to here. Set back, yeah. And then, so this is wet in here. And then, oh, sorry, in here. And then this field is wet in there. Um, okay. Are you, uh, you doing any tree cutting or anything? In there, not at all. No. no, we were able to cite it far enough back to, to yeah. avoid any sort of oh, okay. disturbance whatsoever. Some of our recommendations and stuff. Yeah. As much as possible. Yeah, and as away. a developer, we really try to, you know, not not disturb the national environment as much as possible. Uh, yeah, and add to, to add to that, it'll all be at existing grade. You know, there's no, yeah. no reason to shape anything out there. It's so flat. So they'll, they'll yeah, work no, out. I was I was out there, and I know it's a big area there. And, I said, oh, it looked like a good spot, you know, take, you know. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, we'll use the uh, the existing road, um, so we'll, yeah. we'll add a little bit on here just to access the site, but the existing road will be, uh, will be how we access the site. Um, so, yeah, we're just here to request that you would uh, provide a negative determination on the uh, RDA um, so that we can proceed to the special permit yeah. Uh, phase. Yeah, I think it's Yeah. Mark's always yeah. telling me, do a negative four. Is that negative determination with conditions? Let's see. If you guys have conditions. Yeah, yeah no, there's, there shouldn't be anything. It's, yeah. yeah. They will I, be I installing put a, erosion control um, all around the fence, outside of the fence. So still outside of the buffer, but yeah. we always have them enclose the limit of work just so, you know, during construction, nothing really runs off. But I don't really anticipate anything. No, it's, I mean it, it's 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 a field and the heavy rain there. I was out there and it. Did you can, see? Was it a stuck in there? A little bit of erosion up up, or up on the set right. You know, off just a little bit. Yeah, that mm -hmm. road right when it turns from gravel or paved to so, dirt. Yeah. It's there's kind of some runoff there, but luckily yeah, but it's not going to go anywhere. That yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that would. Uh, and these are the. Uh, is it just one or is it both? Uh, I just got two copies. There's just one sheet. We just provided the. Yeah. No, this is just a revision then, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, with the easement, we wanted to have you guys have the most up to date. Um, the only change from what I submitted was is just this little. Now the overhead wires are going to be on the yeah. adjacent. Because property. previously we had them buried and running along along the stretch here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's the okay, so this is ours then? Yes, there's just two copies. I don't know if you guys want two copies. But. Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Somebody might want to make sure. Yeah, so if you can make note, we got a revised uh, site plan. And it's dated uh, 726. And that's including a new little easement. I guess that's. Okay, yeah, no, I just looking over and I don't see any issues at all. You're out of the buffer. And uh, let's see. So it would be, uh, I vote that we uh, go for a negative uh, number four. That's the. Is that the work you? described in the request is not within an area subject to protection yeah. under the Act. Okay. Therefore, this work does not require filing of a notice of intent unless said work alters an area subject to the right. Protection Act. That's if you 
go outside. Change anything. Yeah. So, I'll uh, second that. In, yep, I, I agree. I agree. Thank all you. Right. We're all set. We'll thank you guys. We'll thank sign you. this and uh, I'll just give you guys get it to Priscilla in the morning. Wonderful. Oh, okay. Appreciate that. These are our cards. I don't know if you need to have the minutes that you need. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll put them with it. Sure, probably. Yeah, that's allowed. Like a bit of a deep discount. Nine cards are on the court. Sounds good. Contact Priscilla in the morning to get a coffee. Uh, yeah, she's uh, um, she doesn't come in till I think ten, yeah. so I won't I won't be there till after she gets in. So okay, so we should just get a copy from her. Yeah, I don't know. Do you normally? Uh, yeah, well, uh, what do you? I don't usually, usually either get the permit mailed to us or we pick it up. Oh, okay. I think we need the original to record. To record Probably just give her a call tomorrow afternoonish. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, 10 to 3. Okay. Let's yeah, I, I assume. Yeah, call it, you know, around noon. I'm going to get there earlier, so. Okay, great. Thank you guys Drop it much. off. Thank you, guys. Thank you. with it after tomorrow. This is for the uh, Pan Am Southern Banks Railroad property. And uh, this is off of uh, River Road next to the rail yard. Correct. And state who you are. And uh, my name is Katie Wolf uh, with ERM. And Kyle Purdy with ERM. Um, so we are um, assisting with the permitting process for the development of a um, ground mounted solar panel area in, like you said, um, along River Road, just south of the Pan Am Railway property. Um, the, the solar project is approximately 2.7 megawatts um, and it more or less covers um, about 20 acres. It's not contiguous. We have a northern array area and a southern array area. The middle area is, is um, separated by some delineated wetlands that we identified during our wetland delineation. Um, and just a little bit of background, ERM has done you know, extensive groundwater and soil re remediation work with Pan Am, so we're very familiar with the area. Um, and we, you know, we know kind of due to previous uses of the land, there is some contamination out there, so we feel that this is a really good viable option for, for land use. Um, it would you know, put you know, otherwise unused land to, to good use. Um, so no changes, as part of this project, no changes are going to be proposed to any part of the, the right-of-way, to the railway at all, um, to any buildings um, or any existing features. It would just be the, the unused um, open land. So we can, I guess, go into the actual wetland portion and delineation in our plans. Yeah, I just wanted to see it up close and do the same thing. the northern portion that's up here off of this existing road. Um, before we started even doing the design or the overlay of this, we did our delineation first. Um, we came across a large wetland between the northern and southern array. Um, so we focused our energy away from that, plotted the 100 foot buffers, and then did our design based off of that. Um, we're proposing impacts to the 100 foot buffer, um, which mostly includes clearing, but we're leaving the stumps in. Um, 
console still had the same infiltration rate or better because some of these areas were actually removing uh, old asphalt. Um, and then there's some areas that we have some grading to along like the road and stuff. Um, but those will be revegetated as well with the exception of just the access road in. So this, yeah, and just, I know we discussed this uh, during our site walk, but just so you guys are kind of aware, of, and just to acclimate you to the figure, the areas outlined in blue are the jurisdictional wetlands, and then everything shaded in purple is where we're proposing to do any sort of disturbance within that 100 foot um, buffer zone. And then this is obviously the area outside, the project area outside of the buffer zone where we're going to be proposing to do so the hatch marks are the silt fence, anything inside of that is grading. And then there are, you'll see in the southern array. And your, uh, yeah, grading which will include uh, stump removal and all that, and Clear, as, tree clearing and... Yep. As part of a separate permitting process too, we have to go to the Corps of Engineers for a construction general permit to discuss our stormwater since the uh, site will disturb more than one acre. So we have to meet their regulations and show them our stormwater design and get signed off on that as well. Um, but I was just going to show, so areas outside the silt fence where we still show impact in the buffer, that would just be clearing, leaving stumps in place, not disturbing the ground. If you could show them where this section was, because this was a little confusing. Yeah. 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 So that's down in this area right here. That's the southern array area. Yeah, there's that. Okay. Oh, right at that corner. And then yeah. north of this area, so kind of right in here, we identified wetlands, so that's why no um, impact or you know, construction is proposed for that area, no clearing, no grading, no anything. And then the northern array is, is up in this zone. So it's kind of two main um, areas within our project area. And we are currently working with an engineering firm to pull together our stormwater design and grading design. So that will be included in the subsequent permitting um, with the planning board. Okay, this is, this is the one that's... Uh, yeah, so that was just down there, and then this side is... Okay. Like I say, you... Uh, and we talked, and uh, just DEP had comments on this, and he's concerned with the amount of work that's in here and how it's going to affect, you know, this whole area and the, the resource area and stuff. And, and he said that it wasn't clear at all on any of that, and mm -hmm. because there is quite a bit of change in you know, you're going to be stuff removal and you're going to be building a road, gravel, even though it's gravel road and stuff, you're changing the whole, altering the whole area. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's, what my feeling is that there's got to be more information okay. on this. And, uh, you know, regarding I, the storm drain, the storm the, water, the whole thing, the okay. grading and. Has she uh, gotten a copy of uh, what his comments were? Well, he just, you know, he just did quick that, you know, there is concern to these areas. And, uh, you know, it's not like it can't be done. Mm -hmm. It's just that more additional information need, is needed. And, and, I, I, and I feel that. Should I read this off for them? Yeah, you can. Uh, so, uh, Stinson's comments here. He says, That's here's one of my standard yeah. comments for solar farms that propose work in the buffer. He says, uh, the applicant has not demonstrated impacts to the buffer zone, will not adversely impact the adjacent resource areas. The applicant should provide a detailed assessment under 310 CMR 10.53, which in part states, conditions may include limitations on the scope and location of work in the buffer zone as necessary to avoid alteration of the resource area. The issuing authority may require erosion and sedimentation controls uh, during construction, a uh, clear limit of work, and the preservation of natural vegetation adjacent to the resource area and or other measures uh, with the scope and location of the work within the buffer zone uh, to protect the interests of MGLC 3131 uh, 
Dash 40, the commission has the legal ability to require a larger undisturbed area in the buffer zone in order to protect the interest of the act. Um, he says usually for the work uh, this close to the wetlands, it's usually a notice of intent, not an RDA. Okay. So that 310 CMR 50, uh, 1053 is mm -hmm. the performance standards for boarding vegetated wetlands. Mm -hmm. And then those performance standards are pretty much the last two sentences he said. So mm -hmm. describing the road and sediment control, how we're going to maintain infiltration through here. But yeah, the, the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. And like I was saying, you know, we're talking about the grading and stuff that it be included in. Uh, yep. And, you know, your uh, design firm would be uh, taking care of probably that part of the grading and everything for you. So, you know, I feel that it would be a, uh, you know, it is, does require a uh, positive. Uh, Declaration. Yeah, number four, yeah. and that's that's the work described on reference plans and documents is within the buffer zone, and will alter the uh, area subject to protection under the act. There, there therefore, it says uh, work requires the filing of a notice of intent. Was there any additional comments to sentence? Uh, no, they were just his kind of standard. Okay, we and just certainly want to address anything you guys have, and then. Yeah, no, that's that's it. You know, it's you know, it seemed to be there's not enough. There's not enough <laughs> info on here because you are in. If it was like a isolated spot, like over here or something, but right. you're 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 putting in roads along the edge. You're, you know, you're you're Clip clearing. Clip cl yeah, mm -hmm. you're clearing. I say, I mean, yes. you, you certainly understand the the law. Yeah. I, I think that what Mark Simpson is saying is that we need more information. On, on, you know, specifically, you know, um, uh, he said he just he, he needs a, cl a clear limit of work uh, in regards to the vegetation. That's how I read his comments. Yeah. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. so. so, in regards to like clearing trees and um, any disturbance work within, yeah. yeah. That, that wouldn't be yeah. difficult at all. I mean, we're going through, we're about to go through the site plan application too. And as part of that, our finalized SWIP will be prepared and our grading plan. Yep. So we're kind of, we send Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, because you get it all and then. Combining it all to you guys to review as And well. then the DEP will have the comments, like you say, and uh, if there's some issues or something like that, you know, we'll no doubt have it reviewed ourselves too. But. Uh, so on the WPA3 form, yeah. there is a stormwater checkbox that you're applicable for if you have a certain disturbance. I would assume since over an acre, would we be required to provide the stormwater report in our NLI? Uh, you'd have to read the instructions. I'm not, okay. I'm not sure on how to, you know, on those forms, how to fill them out and stuff. Okay. We're volunteers. We have limited knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute now. <laughs> or learning. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, so I, w I would vote that it would be a positive number four, just, uh, you know, the, the notice of intent would be uh, required because yeah. of the, all the work that's in that buffer. Yeah, yeah the 100% buffer zone. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll, uh, I'll second that. And I, 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 yeah. So. Right. Could okay, I thank ask you. one more quick question? Sorry. Sure. Yep. So um, I can recommend off the top of my head on your website, uh, how many times a month do you guys meet? Once a month. Once, okay. Yeah, every fourth Thursday. Okay. Yeah, the so next one. We just need 14 yeah. days before then to submit that. Yes, yeah, so our next one would be next. August 23rd. Okay. Cool. Great. Yeah. And we can, assuming we get in our NOI uh, two weeks, I think, before that meeting, then we can get on the agenda for that one. Uh, yeah, as long as you get a number, you know, from DEP and it's got to be submitted. And, okay. And we'll just take it from there, you know. It'll no doubt be probably something with comments and everything, and then we'll see if what they think that it should be out for review or something. If you if you can get it all done by then, okay. You know, if not, just have to wait for the next one. If you you know, it turns out there's more work to it than you yes. you think. And certainly in your review of our NOI, if you want to meet out on the site before the next public hearing, by all means, reach out to us, and we'd love to come out and say Yeah. Yeah. It's one thing to see it on a flat piece of paper versus. Oh yeah, no, no, I you know. I live right down the road. I live under a room, so I'm pretty familiar with the area. So that's why I thought he'd be there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I came I, straight from work. And yeah. I thought I heard a horn. Yes. <laughs> I, I would love to see it as well. Okay. Just, uh, so yeah, we'll yeah. have to set well, something up. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we approve the negative. Our positive number four. Yep. And Mark did also give us feedback um, on, uh, in regards to the next one as, as well, correct? I believe. On the next one? The hillside or Oxford Pickle? And, uh, the Oxford Pickle? I thought that I happened to see, I thought that I saw it. There shouldn't be anything. We don't have anything for that. Okay, so we got that. All right. Okay, this is the railroad. Yeah, I, let's see. I guess on the, our old business, the 117 Hillside, we continued it, I guess we I'll have to look into it. I guess we'll just continue it again. He's, I think he's un, unsure how he's going to proceed, so I think we'll just continue it so, till the next meeting. And what else we got? have a letter for uh, Oxford Pickle to review? No, what that was was uh, they were... Town is selling a portion, another little section, I guess, that we had gone out. I don't know, were you, did you go out there for the site visit when we were doing the bread, the bread, uh, no, I don't think I was out there for that company one. or, so there was a review of the whole area and it was broken down into a parcel and they were just concerned about the delineation and and uh, we actually found, I was in the office, we found a uh, plan for, uh, for that, you know, parcel. And that's all the lawyers needed because they're trying to, they were trying to transfer the, the property over to this company, other company, yesterday. So it, uh, so as far as I know, everything went all right. And our only concern was there was something already there, and the, you know, for delineation, and it's just a piece of property. We don't normally care unless someone wants to do something. Then we have yeah. to look into it. But it was just a uh, you know piece of property that they needed. Uh, they just wanted a kind of clarification if there was something for the yeah. termination on the wetlands, and there was. So that was. Pretty much that. The longer short of it. Yeah, so we really don't have it's nothing there. Uh, so we got minutes and mail? Minutes. I thought we reviewed the minutes, didn't we, last time? Uh, for the 24th, I got. Well, I don't know. I, I wasn't here for the last meeting, so. You weren't? Nope. Oh, okay. So I think it's just, uh, just you. Oh, just me. Well, just I guess you. I can. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so we have a quorum tonight, then. Yeah, yeah we need a minimum, a minimum of three. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I certainly I was not going to miss the meeting. I just... Uh, oh, yeah, you're absent. Remember. Had to be that guy. Okay, uh, let's see. Call the order. Okay, yeah, he was here last... On Hillside Road, there. We just needed to have him provide additional information on what the addition was actually going to be and stuff. And we continued, we agreed to continue it so he could bring, you know, look into the matter. And, and I guess he uh, hasn't decided yet, so we're, we're going with another continuation. So, see, 
this is then we had uh, somebody wanting to put in a, an addition to the house so they could have an elevator and so that was no big deal either so I I moved to approve the minutes of June 21st I guess I can second it too <laughs> So those are approved, okay. What else we got? What is reorganize the commission? Well, maybe that's the, add a, uh, yeah, like a roster we have to add and delete something to? Well, I guess maybe say uh, I'm gonna be chairman, I don't know. Make a, I to make a motion <laughs> to, uh, yeah, you to can, nominate yeah. you as uh, you Louis Mission that, yeah. as the chairman of the Conservation Commission. Yeah, I, I could just say facilitator, but uh, like Paul used to do. But uh, no, you can put me. Uh, you can nominate. You know, I'll accept as the chair. All right, I'll second. I'll have assistance, though. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'll continue my assistant duties. There you go. I'll continue. <laughs> I'll, I'll start my assistant to the assistant duties. Okay, and we do have a new member. Let's see. I don't know if that's on here or not. So is the housekeeping and the reorganized commission probably the same thing? Yeah, I think so. So then we got uh, mail. Oh, oh, what's this? Yeah, yeah, we have that. The mail. Yes, and is MACC Massachusetts Association of Conservation Commissions? Yeah. And is that some kind of a conference as well, or? or is uh, it's a organization, and I don't know if we have anything on that. They just, I think they they send newsletters. I haven't got anything. Have you? Uh, I get emails. Oh, emails now. Yeah. Maybe that's what they're going with now. I used we used to get like. A, I don't know if it was a monthly or bi-monthly flyer, like a, yeah, probably not like a bulletin, months. you know, in the mail, just saying that they're having meetings all over, you know, Boston, and they have classes. And, huh. uh, let's see, what's this? Well, maybe it's in the mail. here if you can't come what's this from Ocean River Institute about lobster fishermen and cleaning traps and uh, want us to have help with cleaner water. I guess maybe they send it to all the conservation. Oh, this must be part of what is this? Is this a Is that the second half of that? Is there a Page one, page two. No, I don't see that. I don't know what. Oh, yeah, Ocean River. Oh, okay. So it must be page one. So they're just two. talking about fertilizer, nitrogens, and. But it's mostly uh, talking about down at Falmouth. You know. But. Yeah, I would think the impact is greater there than it would be here. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and there's not too many lobster <laughs> take over traps here. here. Let's see what's. Hopefully up. not. Not too much lobster fishing up this way. No. That would be a true definition of, of climate change if we were seeing lobsters here. <laughs> People, families and individuals own 70% of the forest in mass. So this is just from uh, Extension Service at UMass. 
just to provide benefits to forests with the homeowners, landowners. And so basically just some just, public awareness stuff. Yeah, that's, that's all that is. And Well, maybe they got a booklet here, so if anybody's yeah, interested, it. yeah, that's what it is. But I guess we'll have it on file if anybody's interested. Okay. Okay. How do fine ticks walk in the tall grass? Yes. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, I think this is something that I can review it another time, you know, if I'm interested in. Yeah, well, that's what it will be here. Yeah. For, for reference. I guess. Uh, Any other business? No, nothing else. Just taking our picture, that's it? Nothing else here. Uh, I, I have a question. Sure. I'm Josh, I'm the recorder. I was just here for the solar the second solar, the rail yards. So oh, that was the first time they had mentioned this in yeah. town, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I was just kind of seeing what was going on. Um, and they just have to meet Mass DEP's requirements the next time they come by. Or uh, they well, there are concerns there, yeah. Yeah. You know, that there wasn't enough information. Yes. So they need to go back and Yeah, more. just, yep. I mean, they, they're working on it just that, I think you know they 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 got it going here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sounds good. Basically, yeah. final revisions just got to make sure they have all the yeah, proper information of what, why, and who. And they and it's a normal process. You put in a request. It's either we give it a negative that we're not really worried about any of the work that's done in that area, or else positive like we gave them. So positive meaning you are. Working. Yeah, they they need to do a notice of intent, and that's a more in-depth uh, review and uh, submission. Okay, so the next step for them would be to come back to you guys. Yeah, likely next month. Well, if they can get the all the work done, I mean, it's a, it's involved with the, you know part of the grading and uh, the whole design of the thing. Okay. And did you end up speaking about the pickle plant? I was curious what you were what that was in regards to? It, it's just uh, the town was, I was selling a piece of parcel. Right, and, and I wasn't sure if they were talking about the asbestos pipe that the select board had mentioned. No, I, didn't, I haven't heard any of that. property? No. This has to do with the wet zone and we don't really. <laughs> yeah, it has nothing to do with us, so. Yeah. Okay, wasn't sure if that came your way somehow. Yeah, no, not unless it was going through the brook, then we might yeah, have a problem. Yeah, I don't think so. Problem. Yeah, so. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Appreciate right. it. Okay, thanks very much. Yeah. Uh, set the next date for the meeting, August 23rd. August 23rd. How's that sound? We have, a, we have a new member and an associate member that was approved by the select board, I think yesterday. And, uh, but they haven't been sworn in, so I'm not sure what the associate does, so. In due time. All right. Yeah. Hopefully so, we'll know more at my second meeting. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I I plan on being here the 23rd. Thank you. Plan on, you're going to be around? Or? Be oh, I should be. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll set the yeah, next yeah. meeting at the uh, 23rd and uh, say it's 7:40 and adjourn. All right. I'll second it. Aye. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you.